Oh, you know it's December because the hat's out. This isn't the time of year you usually associate with a bug video, but that's what you're getting today. I have to give a bit of an apology. I had several requests for more bug hunt videos this year. It just never worked out. Not only did schedules not work out, but the weather didn't cooperate. And not only that, I think the places we have gone to hug bunts, hug bunts? Bug hunts to do, oh my god, to do bug hunts in the past have suffered from habitat loss. The trees have been cut down, the trees that like have been cut down, and houses have been built there, and I'm just not seeing anything at all. I saw one Kabutomushi last year total, and that was in a place that was nowhere near any trees I know of. The trees they like. All we found were a couple small uh, stag beetles, nothing great. I'm, we've gotta find a new place to go bug hunting. Hopefully it'll be better in 2019, we'll see. Gotta find some new locations. But uh, we do have a few beetles, pets, left. I have one, actually somewhere in here, there is a stag beetle. I think it's a cool kuagata. Um, he's buried himself. I give him food every now and then, he doesn't seem to be eating it. I don't know, he's uninterested. And not that interesting, he never shows up to play. But in here, I have a number of Kabutomushi babies. These are the grandchildren of um, Kabutomushi babies my children got at a festival. No, they're the children, sorry. They're the children of the, of the Kabutomushi babies my children got at a festival. Um, those babies, only two adults emerged, but what was one male and one female, and they have had some babies. But they have eaten all of their food in here, and I have to change their it's called mat, their uh, matrix, the stuff they live in, change their dirt so they got more to chew on. Right now it's mostly just uh, cobble to baby poop, so I gotta get that out of there. So they'll have more to chew on, more to eat, more to get big on, and they can become the biggest ones, the biggest uh, cobble to adults we've had, hopefully. Okay, found it! Okay, three 10 liter bags. Got this stuff on sale, it was like uh, regularly 400 yen for a bag, got it at, uh, well, 50% off. Actually, I think it might have been discounted more from that. It was marked out at 200. I think we might have even gotten a better deal. So we took all the ones they had left. One, two, and three. Ooh, I can smell that stuff. And uh, that's what I'm going to move them into. Uh, I've got to fish them out first. Take out all of their old stuff. Get rid of it. Probably take it out to the field because apparently uh, beetle larvae poop is pretty good for plants. One guy advised me before to use like a plastic spoon to pick them up. You don't want to touch them with your hands because the oils on your hands are not good for their breathing whole apparatus. I think you can block them up. But I couldn't find a plastic spoon. Well, I mean, I found a plastic spoon, but not one I wanted to use. So I put on a plastic glove. That should be good. I don't even remember how many we've got. Let's find out. I'm going to put them on the box so that as I find each one, they should be nice and safe there. Oh, there's a good one right off the bat. There we go. Number one, two, three, four. Five, six. I thought I might have found them all, but there's another one. Six, one, that's all. So yeah, that's it. Looks like we got six. I never actually knew how many we had, come to think of it. I never had done a census. Hey, don't fight, don't fight. There you go. So we have got six lovely baby Kabutomushis. Oh, this one's the runt. All juicy and, no, no, no. <laughs> Although I do think you could eat them. I do believe they are edible. But why would we want to do that? I think these guys look like a pretty good size. But we're gonna give them another 30 liters of um, dirt, mat, matrix, whatever you wanna call it, the stuff they live in, and hopefully they're gonna get even bigger. I would like to have the biggest baby, uh, not babies, these are the babies. We sure the biggest babies leading to the biggest adults we've ever raised. The ones we've raised have never been all that big. So I'm hoping for something really good this year. Don't they look tasty? Yeah, I know, you just, you just shuddered, didn't you? I kinda did inside too, an internal shudder. <laughs> Yeah, it got out. I'm starting to wonder if three bags will actually fit. Well, only one way to find out. Here we go. One. Oh, this stuff is pretty fine. Yeah, we're gonna be pushing it. Stuff I've usually bought is a lot more chunky wood. Hey Kai, don't kick the camera. Yeah, changing their, uh, living their bed. Yeah, we still got to a couple of those. Two. That looks different. What the heck? Did I just put in two different kinds of mat? You put them the same. Wait, did you? Put them the same bag. One, two, wait. No, no, no. They're the exact same bags, but they look totally different. It's the exact same bags. M31 and forget. Yeah, same stuff. Okay, that was weird. 
Okay, well, that one looks more woody. Oh, they're, they're fine. They're inside the house. They'll be warm enough. Now, do I put another bag in? That's, no. It's not going to fit. There's just no way another the third bag is going to fit. I mean, I could put a, a portion of the bag in, but I think it's bit, I'm better off to just keep the bag for in case I need a uh, midwinter bedding change. Anyway, I guess time to put these guys to bed and let them go to sleep. Here we go, guys. Or girls, actually. With the cougars, I can tell. I can see uh, the, the, the stag beetles, you can see the ovaries. These ones, I'm not so sure. You know, they all look the same. Of course, it could mean they're all female. No, I don't know. I can't really tell. But yeah, I, I had some uh, some cool cool got the babies, and I thought they, uh, and I separated them. That one I think is male, that one, these ones are female, and I was 100% right. These ones I can't tell. Oh well, time to put these guys to bed. Here you go. One, two, Three, four, dig one, dig one, five, and six. Good night, boys and girls, or since you're Japanese beetles, I should say, oh, yes, I mean, aside. This guy's already. They're going. Oh, yeah, they're going for it. They say, hey, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> and a little bit of poop left. Yeah, I'll just dump that back in. Doesn't matter. They'll poop lots more soon enough. Ready? I was going to let that, I'm going to let that record. Time lapse it. Ready? Dig! So uh, I will probably add some water later when I let them get a little deeper. You know, a little bit of moisture is good. So they should be hopefully good for the summer, summer, winter, sorry. They should be good over the winter. Uh, but if not, I have one more bag that can help out. Put that back where I found it. Now Kai, what did you want to uh, look up in the book? No, 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 the couple of the book. What, what are going to be? Check what they're going to be? Mm -hmm. Well. They're going to be Kabutomushi. They're Japanese Kabutomushi. There are very few Kabutomushi rhinoceros beetles in Japan. There's only like three species, I think, and only one that's around here. But uh, I don't think this book shows you the difference between male and female for the baby. No, it's just the other one, Kwonchu. Well, no, that's, that, the Kwonchu is beetles, right? This one's just Kabutos, so this has more information on just Kabutos. This is a really good book if you're in Japan and you like Kabutomushi Actually, the whole series of books is a really good science books for kids or, you know, foreigners who can't read that much Japanese. Because then you ask your wife, what does it say? <laughs> I do that a lot. The Kabuto in Japan is a very small section. There are only three kinds of Kabuto's in Japan. This is what we've got around here, and then there's a couple smaller ones, and they only show up like in Okinawa or a couple small islands, not around here. I'm kind of sad about that. I'd like to see them. Nina just came home and she's upset that it was just Kai and me in the video. Uh... She was sleeping on the bus. They're sleeping now, so shh. Actually, I don't even know if bug babies sleep. Probably not. But we're just gonna have to wait until next year to find out how many make it to adulthood and how big they get. So, look forward to that.